Hi, in this video I'm going to solve this equation containing three unknowns. Now to do this I'm going to have to get rid of z in two equations. So in these two here. Now to do this I'm going to add the equation 2 to the equation 1. So let's do it. So 3x plus 4y minus z equals 3. 2x minus 2y plus z equals 7. So I'll be adding these two equations. 3x plus 2x is 5x. 4y plus minus 2y is 2y. And minus z plus z is 0. And 3 plus 7 is 10. So I'm left with this equation here. Next, I'm going to add the equation 3 to 1. Using both of these equations, I have to get rid of z. So I'm going to have to multiply the equation 1 by 2. So here I get 6x plus 8y minus 2z equals 6. And for the equation 3, I keep it as it is. So I get x minus 3y plus 2z equals 8. So as I said, I'll be adding both of these equations. 6x plus x is 7x. 8y minus 3y is 5y. And minus 2z plus 2z is 0. And 6 plus 8 is 14. So I'm left with this equation right here. OK, now that I've got these two equations, I'm going to number them. I'm going to call this equation 4. And I'll be calling this equation 5. Using the equations 4 and 5, I'm going to find the value of x. Now to do this, I'm going to get rid of the y's in both equations. Right? So I'm going to have to multiply this equation up here by 5, and I'm going to have to multiply this equation down here by 2. So what we get is 25x plus 10y equals 50. And for the equation 5, we get 14x plus 10y equals 28. So I've multiplied this equation by 5, and I've multiplied this equation below by 2. Now that I've done this, I can minus equation 5 of 4. So 25x minus 14x is 11x. 10y minus 10y is 0. And 50 minus 28 is 22. And from here, I can divide 11x by 11 and 22 by 11. So I get x is 2. As I know that x is 2, I plug it in to this equation here. I can also plug it into equation 5, but I'm going to plug it into equation 4. So I'll get 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2y equals 10. So that's 10 plus 2y equals 10. And that gives us 2y is 10 minus 10. 10, which is 0. Therefore, y is equal to 0, because 2 times 0 is 0. 
So now we've got the value of x and we've got the value of y. As we've got these two values, we'll now be looking for the value of z. So I'm going to plug x is 2 and y is 0 into the equation 1. So we get 3 multiplied by 2 plus 4 multiplied by 0 minus z equals 3. From this we get 6 minus z is 3. And from here we get 3 equals z. Therefore, z is 3. OK, now that we've got the values of x, y, and z, we have to check if these values fit in to each of these equations and make sense. So let's do this. OK, now that we've got the values of x, y, and z, let's plug them into these equations to see if they make sense. So, 3 multiplied by 2 plus 4 multiplied by 0 minus 3 is 3. Does it make sense? 6 plus 0 minus 3 is 3. So, the first equation does make sense when x, y, and z are 2, 0, and 3. Let's see if equation 2 makes sense using these values. So 2 times 2 minus 2 times 0 plus 3 equals 7. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 0 plus 3 is 7. So these values up here work in the equation 2. Now finally, let's check out the equation 3. So 2 minus 3 times 0 plus 2 times 3 equals 8. Now 2 minus 0 plus 6 equals 8. So these values up here do fit in to the equation 3 and make sense. So there we have it x is 2, y is 0, and z is 3. And we've solved simultaneous equations containing three unknowns.